Hello and welcome to this video tour of this pre-owned X37 with myself Stuart Abernethy from X Shots in Great Britain. We have personally known of this X37 since 2009 when she was collected from France by our first British owners. Since then we have sold her further two times and during these ownership she's always been located in the Solon area, likely cruise short-handed and therefore remains in excellent condition above and below decks. So stepping aboard, you'll see that she's been sensibly specified from new with just teak in the cockpit and the standard non-slip on the side decks. The teak is in good condition and remains well adhered. She has the spray head option, which is a navy blue and stored below decks for the time being. Moving forward, side decks are safe with a teak tow rail and a coach roof grab rail. She has a below deck furling system by Pro Furl, which works well. In addition, she has a solid rod forestay with tough luff for race, stored separately for the time being. The electrical windlass was serviced in 2018 and the anchor locker contains a healthy 60 metres of chain. And working our way aft, the carbon fibre white painted spinnaker pole stores neatly on the side deck, plenty of good opening hatches on top of the coach roof and on the side windows. The solid rod rigging is still original. The main sheet system is a purchase system, but it's possible to change this to a German style system by fitting the winches and some other fittings if you prefer. I'm moving back to the cockpit. She has a hydraulic backstay adjuster with a lightweight PBO backstay. The binnacle houses a B&G Zeus 3 chart plotter and pilot control, both installed new in 2017. Engine controls are to starboard. The engine hours no longer display, which is common with these displays and to port the old autopilot control which still displays wind information and controls for the cockpit shower. She has a stainless steel Anderson winches all round, all manual and serviced yearly. The repeaters in the instrument garage are B&G H2000 along with the three displays mounted on the mast. Below the waterline the anti-fouling was completely stripped back to gel coat in 2018 and a new epoxy barrier and anti-fouling was then applied. The build-up over numerous seasons meant it was worthwhile doing at this stage. The rudder is deep and powerful with little movement in the needle bearings. The sail drive seal was replaced in 2016 and the propeller is a two blade folding unit by Flexifold. The draft is 2.35 metres and the keel shows no sign of impact or damage. All X shots have a cast iron fin with a solid lead bulb fully encapsulated in GRP for a smooth and hydrodynamic finish. The top sides have been treated with a nano based polish and the gel coat is in good condition. Our X Shots service team have maintained this yacht since 2014 and carried out a full winter package of service over the winter months. The saloon is a bright and comfortable space with good storage in the lockers and behind the seat bags. The woodwork is in mahogany with a satin varnish finish. If you're using the saloon for sleeping, the sea bags pull off easily to provide a good wide berth. The saloon table varnish is in good condition. It's original, so it gives a good indication on how the yacht has been used to date. The upholstery is still very smart and tidy. And she has lee cloths neatly fitted under both saloon berths. These unroll and then connect to the small stainless steel fittings mounted on the bulkhead. And the main bulkhead has aged nicely to a nice tone, not too dark. The owner's cabin is spacious as she does not have the forward heads fitted here. The storage is very good with large wardrobes and hanging and shelf space to port and starboard. Space below the berth is large and great for sail storage. 
and panning back to the chart table through the saloon. Everything is still very original and neat here. She has the Eberspacher heating system installed and a useful Mastervolt battery monitor system. Icom VHF and the original Garmin chart plotter. It's not networked to the one on deck, but it can be used more as a backup. And within the locker, a Furuno nav text and a host of other black boxes neatly mounted in case of service or update. Close up of the varnish around here shows light usage and of course the essential chart table drawers. Same with the galley woodwork, very good condition. Twin sinks with a fresh and salt water taps. The capacity of the fresh water is 170 litres in a tank under the starboard saloon. The worktops are in gel coat and can be polished if required. Good general storage in the galley, a two burner cooker with an oven and useful drawer storage. The aft cabin is a good double, it actually extends past the centre line of the yacht. Access to the sail drive and the rear of the engine is possible through the GRP box here. And there's good shelf and locker space outboard. and the companionway varnish, one of the first airs to show age, remains looking very good. The white studs are for a leatherette protection that was initially used inside the yacht. The engine access is via the steps and reveals the 29 horsepower Yanmar engine, connected to the diesel tank with a capacity of 80 litres, serviced and winterised yearly by local Yanmar agents. And to the large aft heads, she has a manual Jabsco heads with a holding tank fitted in the deep locker behind this bulkhead. The area is designed as a shower with an electrical sump pump. All of the seacocks were changed for new in 2016. And as we pan back to the saloon, the sail inventory is very good with North Sail's main and jib and spectra from 2012 with lots of life left along with the 2017 North Sales Asymmetric on a furler drum for ease of use. Vixen is offered ashore in Hamble Point Marina and fully prepared for your inspection and that of your surveyor. Full PDF specifications can be emailed. The footage was taken in April 2020. Thank you for watching. My name is Stuart Abernethy. My contact details are on the screen and I'd be more than happy to speak about this yacht or anything else X-Shot related. Thank you.